In case you missed it, last night Nate Robinson fought Jake Paul on one of the grandest stages of them all. Let's just say it didn't end uh, that good for our good old pal Nate Robinson. I love the internet. It could be so relentless sometimes. It doesn't matter what your legacy is. You could have saved a bus of orphans from falling off a cliff. But if you do one thing wrong, or in this case get knocked out by Jake Paul, well then you're the laughing stock of the entire internet and everything you've ever done is just, you know tossed out the window because nobody cares about that. The fight didn't end so well for our good old pal Nate. Yes, he did get knocked out. Yes, it was a vicious knockout. Yes, he was kind of laying there lifeless. Yes, Jake Paul's ego did probably blow up 10 times. Fellas, the memes this man was experiencing last night. Hell, Deji even tweeted and said, Nate, you're goddamn trash. Nate's former teammates colleagues, friends were tweeting saying, oh god, we disown this guy. They made animations in Among Us with Nate Robinson's limp body. There's a lot of chit chat going on of people saying, oh, does this mean Jake Paul is the, the greatest boxer ever? First of all, no. Second of all, I should slap you for even mentioning that. Jake Paul is a good fighter against people who don't know how to fight. This guy knocked out a dude who was training for three hours a day since July. Big, am I supposed to be impressed? Fellas, it, it, it's like it's like if, if Nate Robinson went to a local high school, took a 1v1 against the kid in the bleachers, and, and completely destroyed him. Does that mean that Nate Robinson is the greatest basketball player ever? No. It just means he's good against someone who doesn't know what they're doing. The fight was so bad. Bad. From the get-go, Nate Robinson, buddy, fire your whole corner. What are you doing out there? This dude was charging at him as if he was Big Show and he was going to spear him. Like, buddy, it's not going to work. He practically flew into his fists. KSI even tweeted after the fight. He said, I ain't going to lie, boys. I'm not seeing nothing from Jake. And he's right. It does take power to knock out a guy and practically leave him out cold on the canvas. But this guy didn't even know how to defend himself. But he came out looking like this. Like, what kind of, what kind of fight move is this, boys? Are you, are you fighting or are you doing the Macarena? Because I can't tell. Look at Jake. Dude's been training the last three years. Of course he's going to beat up a guy who has no clue how to fight. Boxing is such a technical sport. You have to be bah, 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 right on with your Mayweathers. You can't mold a champion overnight, boys. It takes time. You mold a champion through pain, hardship, struggle. You can't make a champion in a few months. It's not possible. He's not some kind of gifted genetic fighter coming out the womb ready to fight. And if I'm being honest, you can't even know how to punch in a, in a few months of box. You barely got the stance right. And Nate didn't even have the stance right. Of course, when you're not ready, all of the stuff you learn got them out the window because you don't know nothing. We need to see Jake fight somebody who is on the same level as him. Somebody who's been training like him. Maybe another pro fighter. Then you could see whether or not Jake is this, oh, best fighter, oh, punchy, punchy, kick guy. L let's be honest. Who, who has he fought so far? He's fought... Deji. Deji didn't even train for the fight. I, I can't even tell you about Deji. A nice and Gip. Dude spammed Crouch the whole fight. <laughs> And now he fought Nate Robinson. Guy didn't know how to throw a punch. Dude lunged at him constantly. And I'm just saying, you know, if I'm KSI right now, buddy, you better be hitting the goddamn gym like no other. KSI, buddy, if you do not put a stop to this now, I'll have to get in the goddamn ring myself. You see these punches, fellas? Ah! These are punches of a natural born killer, boys. Ah! <laughs> see these fists, buddy? Jake Paul doesn't want none of this. No, no, boys. Ah, 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 fuck. Ah, 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 ah. You like that? That's the good old fake him and then bake him. Ah, uppercut. Think Deji wants some, buddy? Better subscribe, because if you don't subscribe, I'm going to punch you in the kidneys. Ah. Subscribe to Scuff Punch.